What is up, you sexy beasts? Got a message from Newbury last night saying I want to run 100 meters for time. So uh, here we are. Got a uh, electric skateboard, athletic track. I'm going to see what this man can do. What do you reckon? Uh, sub 12 seconds? I think if we if we go sub 12 seconds, I'll be pumped, and I reckon that'll be pretty close to a PB for me. So sub 12. I haven't been on an electric skateboard for many years. I actually sold mine after I bailed four years ago. So this will be my first day back on the skateboard trying to capture the footage. Yep. Whew. Better be under 12, far out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Couldn't go any faster. Oh. I reckon 1209. That's my guess. And that's only based off year 12 sports day. Ah. Three, two, one. Go! If you had to choose to be a 100 meter sprinter or a 200 meter sprinter as a career, what, uh, what distance do you choose? Hanji. Hanji for sure. That hurt. 200 meters sucks. <sighs> yeah, that got me good. My turn. Okay. I wasn't going to run, but it looks too fun, so uh, my turn now. I think I've got to get rid of these and just really embrace that sprinter life you know yes let's go get nice and oh. oh my goodness he's got him let's go mate <laughs> we're on here that's going to take off a second yep nice fakes you in action Right. Like a gazelle. I felt like Bambi. Oh. <laughs> Once you get good. to a certain top, like top speed, you just like the wobbles. You eh? start uh, losing, start going back into a toddler. Hoping that's under 15 seconds, you know? We'll time it when we get home. It'll be faster than 15. Yeah, it'll be definitely faster than 15. Let's go. A couple of things have turned up this week that has me very excited. When I went to Matt Fraser's house for the first time back in 2021, he put me through a 40 minute workout on the stepper. From memory it was like intervals, it was two minutes of easy stepping and then one minute of really hard stepping, all the while wearing a weight vest and to this day it is one of the hardest workouts I've ever done in my life. So when the stepper arrived at my house, you can understand why I was excited, you know? I want to be Matt Fraser, essentially. And so uh, now I can be. I can be Matt Fraser in my own garage. This thing's amazing. It's got a, a massive screen. You can log into your YouTube, your Netflix. Uh, it's compact. The footprint's tiny. Like it takes up the same space as like Concept 2 bike. So uh, I'm going to grind it out on this thing and build a capacity that you will not believe. So the stepper got me fired up for my own cardiovascular fitness and don't be surprised if you see more of these popping up in CrossFit Games athletes training in the gyms. I think people are catching on to yet another secret of the great Matt Fraser and that is 
the stepper. I think we all know the importance of having a massive cardiovascular base to build upon and that thing will be hard to match when it comes to zone 2 training and just building a cardiovascular base. So anyway, that is, I'm so excited about that. But then, my training partner Cookie, Steve Cook, who you've seen on the vlog, who trains with me in the mornings, he turned up with this raw love sign that I've wanted for so long but haven't been able to justify the cost of getting it. And I really wanted it for the backdrop of the videos that I used to make, the commentary style videos where I talk about the CrossFit season, the athletes. I always wanted to have one of these neon lights in my backdrop. Now I have one, but as I said in the previous video, I, don't, I no longer really commentate on the sport or do these sit down videos. Or do I? Or do I? I think with this arriving, and with this new team that I'm about to mention, there's a new CrossFit Games team for 2024, an Australian team that's just been announced, uh, that's got me fired up. And the fact that we're moving to a new venue, it got me thinking, the season's upon us, there's lots of cool stories happening, I've got this sexy sign on the back of my wall, I might get back into it, eh? I think I might get back into a bit of talking head stuff, so here we are. Talking Head video number one for the 2024 season. Let me announce this brand new Australian team. Last year, Royce's team got me really excited. Unfortunately, Brandon Swan got injured at the CrossFit Games and they couldn't quite perform you know, to the level that I'm sure they wanted to. But this year, there's a new team. Arguably the most experienced individuals within a team uh, ever. We've got Kara Saunders, you know, I don't know, 10 plus years cross the games athlete, second fittest woman alive two or three times, I believe it was, and the one year it was literally one lunge away, you know, one overhead lunge away from being the fittest woman on earth. Kara Saunders, then we have Khan Porter, James Newbury, two of Australia's legends in the CrossFit space, and then last year's rookie, Emily DeRoy, just an absolute stud athlete as well. What a team. What a team. Now I know, just because you're a great individual athlete does not make you a great team athlete. So I want to know, what do you think about this team? Drop some comments down below. Do you think they have the goods? Now the great thing about this team is that Kara and James already live here on the Gold Coast where I am. And I believe Khan and Emily will be moving here throughout the season as well to train and prepare for the CrossFit Games. So, uh, and you have Khan Porter, who was in a team with Annie Thoris' daughter. So, yeah, let's wait and see. I've got high hopes for this team. I think they could be a challenger for the podium, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how things shape up. Obviously, Kara is one of the strongest female athletes in the sport. When it comes to the endurance events, Khan and James are two of the top athletes in the space when it comes to swimming, running, you know, all the machines. And then Emily DeRoy is an absolute freak of a swimmer as well. I can't quite remember how Kara does in the swim, but I don't think she's too bad. So, you know, swimming events, endurance events, they're gonna be strong. I see a lot of James, and I know that all the strength numbers are always increasing. He's getting stronger and stronger. He just PB'd his hang, power, snatch, and clean just recently this week. I think the two main questions here is, number one, how will Emily go? I think it's pretty common knowledge that her back hasn't been great since the games last year, so I'm really hoping that is all fixed up and ready to go. And then just how will the team gel? You know, there's some strong personalities. Who will take the lead? 
Um, that is yet to be determined and yet to be seen. So, but I'm excited. They are all absolute legends and I can't wait to uh, perhaps create some content with them here on the Gold Coast and bring that to your faces. So there you go. 100 meter sprint, sub 12. I really surprised myself. I did not think I was capable of running a sub 12 100 meter. Have you tried a 100 meter sprint lately? Maybe go and give it a go. Let me know what your time is. What's the fastest time you've ever run? Maybe as a kid at school. What do you think of the stepper? Have you ever used one of those? And would you incorporate that in your training? I am absolutely loving it. Two weeks in, probably use it two or three times a week. And it's just beautiful zone two training. I love it. And with this particular um, brand stepper, the, uh, the screen is just a, a game changer. Being able to flick on Netflix or YouTube and just tune out and just step and sweat. It is, uh, it's beautiful. And then lastly, what do you think about this team that's just been released? Do you think they have the goods? What do you think? Let me know. There you go. Sah. A little bit out of practice doing these, but I'm excited. How good's a sign, eh? Love having generous friends. Okay, you lot, stay sexy, keep roaring, love, and I'll see you real soon. Cheers. Let's go.